Melvin was 21 months younger than Bernice. And Melvin and Bernice were a lot alike. They were like twins. Um, my brother and I are 21 months apart, just like Melvin and Bernice. And in fact, my four grandchildren are all about 21 months apart, too. Stairs get a long time. So that number 21 is kind of a crucial number in our family. Can you tell he's a the, teacher? The uh, thing I remember most about Bernice, though, is how generous she was to us as little kids. Um, my parents would come down to vacation at the ranch there uh, every year uh, for at least a couple of weeks. So during those two weeks that we were there, we'd always say to our parents, when did uh, uh, let's see, Ed and uh, Wes going to come to visit. <laughs> we always wanted Ed and Wes to come to visit because they played with us. <laughs> so we were always asking, always asking, when are Ed and Wes going to come and play with us? <laughs> and uh, finally we'd show up and we'd have a good time. But the thing I remember about Bernice was that she was always the one that came home every day from work and had some treat for my brother and I. When we were there, she'd always come in, and she had some little treat for the two of us. So my brother and I, we'd get to the point where we would hike over the hill, over by the eucalyptus trees, over on the backside, and we would be sitting along the side of the road waiting for her to come home. And we'd sit there and wait, and she would come down the road, and then she would stop, and she would let us get in the car, and she always had some little treat for us. And uh, she was the one that was... We always remembered well. When I was in college, they gave me their 1948 Chevrolet. And I remember that car because when they got that car in 1948, I was only five. And that was a big deal. That car was, you know. And uh, I got to ride in the back seat of this brand new 1948 Chevrolet. Little did I know that 13 years later they'd give it to me. <laughs> and I used it when I went up to uh, Seattle Pacific College to uh, go to school. They even gave me their 1953 Chevrolet that they had when that was. So they were always generous with me and they brought me through school. And uh, it's been, I taught in Santa Cruz for 33 years. Then I did uh, part time for five more years. And then I moved up to Olympia with my wife, with her families from um, the Olympia area. And so we've been up there for the last. 12 years, and uh, our children, Kathy's our middle daughter, Christy is two years older, and Corey is five years younger, and he's, Corey is not a girl, um, we have to, you know, he's a very tall young man. Six foot eight. Six foot eight. Oh, wow. Basketball player, and uh, he teaches in Santa Cruz.